Hey guys, I am coming to share with you a natural hair haul or just a few things that I picked up that I use a lot in my hair and I wanted to share them with you guys. So I'm going to start off with the oil that I have been using. So I have been experiencing postpartum shedding um, around my edges and temple areas and so I've been applying this um, oil mixture to my edges and they have come back a little bit and they're filling in quite nicely and it's only been like about a month since I started using it and the hair has already started to grow back significantly so I'm going to share with you what I used and this is Brahm oil and of course I already have a video about this on how to make it and stuff like that and then the results that I've been getting peppermint oil some neem oil, this one, and then some Jamaican black castor oil. And so I mix all that stuff together and then just put it on there daily or sometimes twice a day if I remember. And then the next thing that I like to use is Jamaican black castor oil. I use this a lot, or we use this a lot in our house, period. Like the kids' hair, um, our hair, my edges like I just love Jamaican black castor oil and I found this big jug of it and thought it was really cool so I had to get it because it was way cheaper to get this versus buying you know the smaller bottles that are like eight dollars or more and they're gone quickly so I picked this up and then I also like using shea butter for different reasons and so I have a massive amount of shea butter and I will leave a link in the description box to all of the stuff that I have. But I think this is like a kilo, I think when I got it, it was like a kilo. So a kilo of shea butter. <laughs> so we use that a lot too for different things. So it's nice to have a lot of it versus buying, of course, a small thing of it for however much, like $10, I believe. And then I wanted to show you guys my little cap. And it's a slap cap, I guess is what they're called. The satin line, little beanie type things. And so I normally wear a bonnet around the house. Um, and then I use, I normally tie a different type scarf in different ways when I go out in public. Because, of course, I'm still using Shea Bait in my hair. And um, so I decided to make one of these and try it out. And so I had to do my little edges a little bit. But um, this is the satin line cap. And I made it. Woohoo, go me. And so I'm just going to show you the satin that's under there. And I have on a wig cap under it and a plastic bag because I just applied my Shea Bay again. And is oozing <laughs> through um, the cap so I decided to put a plastic bag on it until some of the moisture kind of settles and then so it won't ruin the cap and I have to wash it like immediately so yeah this is my little slap beanie I like it I think I'm getting used to it okay and then of course I told you I slicked down my edges just a little bit to make the hat kind of look more presentable and stuff and be a little more girly um, and then so I picked this up. I don't know if you can see it. Let me put it like that. But this is made by the people who used to, they make the orange tin of like the wave pomade or stuff, whatever. I used to love that stuff. I used to use it like gel because it really holds your hair. And so I figured if they make an edge control, then it has to work because that orange tin works like amazing. So, yeah. It smells a little bit better than the orange tin, and it's like a clear color, but yeah, you should try it out. It's doing pretty good. And then, of course, I picked up an applicator bottle because I've been using like old bottles that I have, and sometimes the mixtures that I make don't go through them too well, so I just picked up an applicator bottle. And then, of course, I continue to use pine tar, and I just used it to redo my hair and this I just opened this one yesterday and that's how much I used like almost like half 
in one thing. That's why I told you my hair was oozing. I may have put too much stuff in my hair, but it didn't seem like it. But anyway, I love Pontar. It can go on your scalp because it's just um, a hair grease. Uh, I don't put it on my scalp anymore. I used to. And like this is my favorite grease. I love it because it also is a super grow conditioner. So it aids with hair growth too. And then of course for the Shea Bay, I'm still using the Nature Affinity um, hair butter with the Shea Bay in it. And that's what that looks like. And this is a fairly new container. My hair is getting either thicker or longer because I'm running through this like super quick now. And then with this, I normally mix the Nature Finity, I don't know if you can see, organic shea powder. So it's made by the same person who makes this. And it is the her, their version of shea powder. And so... It's dark colored like the traditional one was. Yeah, open it for you. I don't want to make a mess. So this one though, it doesn't, you know, the traditional Chevy had like this weird smell like ashes or whatever it smelled like. But this one is really, it smells really good. It smells like lemons and lavender it smells really good so you don't have to worry about your hair having like this weird smell for the first few days and stuff like that so this is really good um if you want if you have like a protective style or if you want to wear your own hair out like twist outs braid outs or you know still just protective style in the traditional way like braid it and tuck it and stuff like that these two mixed together are a really good option because it doesn't show up as much um as if you were to do the powder by itself and it's not as messy because all you got to do is put some of this put some of this rub it together and apply it to your hair and it still gives a good amount of weight so if you were just using this i don't know if anybody picked this up but if you pick this up and we're using it by itself which i show in my um a previous video i told you that i needed some more weight because the butter by itself is kind of light it did it continued to hold the moisture, but I needed some more weight to compare it or get the same results as um, me doing the traditional way. And so when I added this, it gave a lot more weight to it and, of course, still kept the moisture and all that good stuff. So those two paired together are definitely a go. So that's what I'm doing with my hair right now. And those are some of the supplies that I picked up from my household. Um... So basically my routine right now is still applying uh, Shea Bay to my hair every seven days and so or once a week. And then I apply the oil mixture that I showed you guys to my scalp, to my whole head scalp. I apply it one time a week. So I do it whenever I do or reapply my Shea Bay. I apply the oil to my whole head. And daily I apply the oil to my edges and this area my temples because that's what i'm struggling with right now and then what else did i show you guys um the jamaican black castor oil i put on my kids hair mostly so i definitely needed some of that and i think that's it that's what i'm doing with my hair right now that's a little update yes i'm still using shea bay i'm just using they call it the organic shea bay powder just because I guess she's making it and she kind of tells you all the ingredients that she uses are organic and you can um, see what's in it. So what's in it is organic amaranth, organic cacao, organic clove, gum arabic, organic fenugreek, croton, leclera resin, organic mongongo oil. Um, so yeah, it's we know what's in this one. <laughs> it's made by the same people, like I said, who make this. So it's made in the U.S. And it gives you good results. It still works pretty much the same as a traditional one. Gives you the same weight, the same moisture hold, all that good stuff. You guys enjoy the video. And I will do an update on my hair. Like showing lip checks and all that stuff soon. 
Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.